Hey guys, it's Bear here with Generation Preparedness, helping you prepare not only for your doomsday, but your everyday. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a couple of quick and easy cleaning, household cleaning items that everybody should be doing. It's super cheap, super quick, super effective, and it saves you a ton of money versus your conventional store-bought cleaning items. It does a better job. It's half the chemicals, uh, and it's just... It takes a matter of, you know, a couple minutes to put together and it works better than anything you're going to buy in the store, or as good as anything you're going to buy in the store. People were using it for hundreds of years and we got away with it because of, I don't know, convenience and whatever, you know, marketing and advertising and whatever, but it's something my family and I use, saves a ton of money, saves a ton of time and cleans awesome we use it for pretty we use these two for pretty much everything in the house almost uh so i'm going to show you how we put them together here and i'm going to show you how inexpensive it can be for you and we'll get into it right now hey guys it's bear here with journey to preparedness don't forget to rush out and get your jtp gear at teespring store link is down below get that stuff while you can you don't want to be the only one without it all right don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit that like Smash that bell so you get notifications every time I put out a new video. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Check out the website, journeytopreparedness.net. Stay up to date on the blogs and the podcasts and everything we got going on. And again, don't forget to get that gear. We got sweatshirts. We got t-shirts. We got coffee mugs. We got phone cases. We got stickers. We got everything you need for everybody in your family at the Teespring store. Journey to prepare this. All right, link below. Check it out. Peace, love. All, All right, guys. Above. So there are typically two cleaners that my family uses, and one is bleach, and that's just a simple uh, ten to one ratio. I get these bottles at the dollar store, uh, Dollar Tree, and basically it has a marking on here, ten to one. So I put a black line there and a black line at the fill mark, and fill up my bleach to there, and then fill the rest up with water. That's it. It's that simple, and it'll clean every surface in your house. And it's it's diluted enough to where it's not going to be harmful. It's not going to you know ruin clothes or anything like that if you get any on you. Obviously, you're working with bleach, so you know recommended wear gloves. But it's that simple. Ten to one. Bam. Fill that up. Fill the rest up with water. I don't know that I need to show you how to do that. The next one is a glass cleaning uh, that we do. A glass cleaner. And it's simple right here. It's a quarter cup vinegar, quarter cup of alcohol, a tablespoon of cornstarch, some essential oil, drops of essential oil for scenting, and then two cups of water. And the reason you use the cornstarch is to help uh, with smearing and help stop that. So I'll put that together here real quick. All right, so we got, take this out, show you how I do it. Pour in my quarter cup of vinegar. go oops sorry pour that in really you can do it without the you can do it without the uh, cornstarch if you want uh, I added in there again like I said just because it helps with they say it helps with streaks so I use it quarter cup of alcohol the isopropylene alcohol don't be getting your vodka all right <laughs> a uh, tablespoon of cornstarch What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour the put the cornstarch since I can't get it in here. Obviously, I'm gonna put it in here, and that way when I fill up my let that run for a minute, fill up my two cups of water. Now, essential oils you can use whatever you want for scenting. I'm going with some lavender. You don't want to overdo it with the oil, obviously, because you don't want your things to be greasy. Okay, oily but a little bit will help get some fragrance in there for you. All right, I'm gonna 
mix this up a little bit so I get the starch kind of dissolved in the water there. Okay. We're going to pour in the first cup. Stand by. All right, let's pour in this first cup here. Now we get a second cup. There's your second cup of water. And then these bottles, obviously, they, I mean, they're from the dollar store, so they don't last forever. And uh, I usually keep a few of them on hand just to, uh, just in case one fails, because the, these sprayers fail all the time. But now I have basically a Windex substitute. Real simple. And I keep that right on here. I keep it right on the I write right on there exactly what I put in so that way anybody in the house can do it whether my wife or kids or anybody you know quarter cup of vinegar quarter cup of alcohol tablespoon of cornstarch eight to ten drops of essential oil two cups of water it's that simple there I just did it again I could have done this in another 30 seconds but I just put that together we're looking at four minutes five minutes video total so far uh, with an introduction and just me putting this together and that could save you you think about the price of this stuff, all right? Even if you didn't do the oil, okay, which is probably the most expensive thing, get yourself some alcohol, some rubbing alcohol or isopropylene alcohol from the dollar store. Get yourself a, you know, this big thing of vinegar costs what five, maybe ten bucks. I don't know. I don't remember what it was. I have vinegar all the time for canning. So get yourself a vinegar for a couple bucks. I think a cornstarch is a buck or two, and you're looking at five bucks, and you can make a ton of window cleaner. For the same price, it would cost you to go get some Windex or anything like that. Same with bleach cleaner. You start looking at 409 and anything like that that you're using and all the chemicals, and this is just simple. Bleach and water. And it's diluted enough where it's not going to be harmful to anybody or anything. And great for your surfaces. It cleans everything off. Especially if you if you got something that's hard to get off, you just spray it on there for a second and let it soak. Just let it sit on there for a minute before you do any scrubbing or, or wiping off, and that stuff will come right off. I'm telling you, my family and I have been doing it for years now. I highly recommend it to everybody so get out there start doing your own chemical free you know you know what's going into it do your own cleaners there's many more where that came from so you know just start start with that start simple again this is bear with energy preparedness get yourself some cleaners you hit that subscribe button hit that like check us out on social media links below links in the bio all right check out our website journeypreparedness.net Get on our email list to find out and stay up to date on everything JTP. Alright, until next time, peace, love, all the above.